Many people said Alt F4 was the worst era of the channel. You may not remember. In time, it has become a cult classic. Just like all the movie critics went uh, crazy on The Shining. They said it's the worst movie they've ever seen. In around February, March, April 2021, people were like, God, I wish he'd stop playing Alt F4 and go back to playing Loop Hero. <laughs> well, you might be ashamed of your words and your deeds because we are back with Alt F4. They have new maps. There might be as many as four new maps um, with the same music, and I am, I am ready to go. I am excited to go here. We're back, baby. Look at this. Just running. Short, shorty, like a melody running through my head. Just... Okay, we're just dodging. Look at that. That's okay. Starting scary already. It's so good that the music is the same. Okay, don't break your legs on the jump. Oh, okay, okay. We can live through that. I'm still being chased. Get up, get up, get up. Oh, come on. I mean, what are you supposed to do there? In, in, in Lower on Deadbird. I gotta remember what we got at our disposal. We can go first person. We can throw chickens. No crosshair. Oh, what the heck? I'm going down, man. I don't know what happened. Like, I, I just tripped on nothing. You die. <laughs> Who needs Elden Ring? Not me. Who needs Elden Ring? Not me. Jump over that. There you go. Because there's a little piece of cobble. There you go. Oh! No, no. Oh, dude. Okay, they're, they're fist pumping. There's no way we're not getting hit here. Oh, oh! Oh, come on. They're faster than me? Yo, did you see the pancake book? Okay, sorry. Keep it going. Jump over this. I, I didn't think it was possible we were making it out of there. Still got it, still got it. Okay. I actually can't believe we made it. Are you hearing this? What the heck is that sound? Whoa, it's, it's Juggernaut. Um, is it getting closer? No, it's getting, it's definitely getting closer. There's no way. We're free? Okay, who would have thought? Please? Oh, come on, man. He's so fast. Okay. We know what we got to do now. We know what we got to do now. Okay, you come up here. Dude, new maps. Who would have thought? I thought I was ready to play this, the old maps over again. He's right behind me. Saved. Saved. There's no way he's making it over here. Okay, what is what the heck is this? Bunch of bunch of autumnal fruits being dropped. Holy crap. Even the chickens have no impact. Can't stop him. Okay. I lived <laughs> Maybe we maybe we gotta jump on the spikes over. Okay, that's all right. We'll start over from the beginning. If you're not familiar with Alt F4, this is kind of the this is the meat of Alt F4. After you die, you have to you get one chance from the checkpoint that you just got, and if you die then, then you're done. You have to go all the way back to the beginning. But like phase one, no problem, man. I'm in first person. Well, we don't even have a checkpoint this time, so let's just send it. <laughs> Comedic timing. Yeah, it, that's a good way to describe it. It's kind of like the Dark Souls of wasting your time, but in a way that like makes you happy. Dude, I don't know. I feel like you can. <laughs> I feel like you can get in the window. <laughs> like you, because you can dodge, right? Yeah, yeah, whoa. Holy crap. They added a roll. I'm ready, I'm ready. Nice try. Nice, nice try. Now you take the roof. 
What the heck is a chicken? Item. Item what? <laughs> we, had a, we had a head helicopter, man. Oh, they, they've actually changed the game. Okay, there's our checkpoint. We, we only get... It's a one-use item? Oh, my God. Like, I, I can't believe the new tech. Can you dodge in the air? No. Okay. Duly noted. You might need that to get across. So I'm going to try something. Dunky, dunky, dunk, dunk. He's, so, he's just spinning there menacingly. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. I think that's, that's probably going to do it for this life. Oh, that's right. We had the checkpoint, but we don't have the item, though. Hold on. Hold on. So, so eat breakfast and uh, breakfast tree. Oh, is okay. Yeah, yeah, I think you're right. I think you might need the reg doll there. What is ragdoll again? It's Q? R? R, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We might die learning the control there, but that's okay. I can live with that. I can live with this. We're still living. I'm still living, dude. You can't stop me. <laughs> oh my god, his pathing. It's better than the orbitals in Isaac. Sir, so you eat the breakfast treat. <laughs> okay, finally. All right, all right. Nice try. We gotta be sparing with the dodge roll. It has a recovery associated with it. That's the freaking line. That's the freaking line. I got it. I woo, physics. <laughs> you gotta get that. That's cool, dude. Still got it. Okay. <laughs> Control is use item. I'm sending it. Whoa! No fall damage because I reg dolled. Okay. A portal? Oh, come on. Just, just about to get up. A single head of lettuce took me out. We can do this. This is just like Fall Guys, which is just like Squid Game, for real. Okay, okay. Dude, dude, what the? What happens if you go through the portal? Ooh! Map, map one complete, maybe? This was unexpected. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, maybe it's a warp zone. I see I see they have a portal. Oh. I guess this thing do be moving. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna. Oh, maybe you just take the ramp. <laughs> Oh, this, this is going to be impossible, man.
Little, little late, little late. Hmm. Ooh! <laughs> He's cracked. He's actually cracked. Oh, this looks more like it, man. Dun, dun, dun. I don't I have no idea what the loop in this game is like right now. Reg me. <laughs> I don't know if we just skipped half the levels or what. Dude, you're not making it unless you reg there. Like that's that's tough. Ooh, Ryuli. Okay, never mind. You can make it. You just gotta leave later. Somebody please tell Chibli that Alt F4 is, is back and in Pog form. What the heck is that? I'm gonna say that... Did I even get hit by anything? Reg me. <laughs> I, it did look like the center of a protractor. I bet it's like a, I don't know, it kind of looked like a slingshot or like a grappling hook or something. I still have the item. Oh, just like I thought I became a chicken. Oh, and then you left click, you're not a chicken anymore, okay. What the? Yo, that's kind of sick, though. Did you think they took that inspiration from Murdered Soul Suspect? Okay, I should know better at this point. <laughs> Sorry, it's a slow one. Okay, okay, he's learning. Oh my god, dude, I love being like the first person to experience a game like this. I mean, I'm not the first person to experience Alt F4. I feel like I might have been the only person who checked Steam 250 today and found out that Alt F4 released four brand new maps. I'm, I feel like I'm on the cutting edge right now. The content factory is open. Don't get... Keep them, keep them. Can I have a chicken transformation? You only get it once? That's ruthless, man. 21th night, let's go. Kate, you gotta let your favorite Korean streamer know. Alt F4 released four new maps and the game is actually insane. Spread the, spread the pogs around. I do wish, by the way, that I'd completed Rage Quit, but, like, I, I'm just being honest, like, I, I think the game, there's, like, nothing wrong with it, but there's something wrong with me. Like, it gave me such incredible motion sickness that, uh, I, I, like, literally could not play it without feeling like I wanted to throw up. It's just something about the way that Alt F4 handles it. It's just, well, it's just, just different. It just doesn't give me the same kind of anti-pog. Yo, shortcut? New tank? That's a beautiful miss. <laughs> Throw the chicken at the musicians, you can change music. Whoo!
Curb Your Enthusiasm music. Curb Your Enthusiasm music. Yo, Cami Code. <laughs> Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! It, this is Larry the uh, Larry the David. This is Larry David driving right now, and then he looks over and he sees everybody that he sees is drinking one of those orange mocha frappuccinos that they wouldn't sell him at, at Mocha Joe. You know, I've been seeing all these people with the orange frappuccinos or Mocha Joe. Why am I going this way? We should have taken the alt path, man. New season of Curb seems pretty good so far. I've been I've been enjoying having it on while playing Super Auto Pets. Larry David comedy is snooze. Sit yourself. Home. Home inside. I lived. Home inside arrow. Okay, 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 okay. Nobody freak out. Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> okay. Who do you think is winning Survivor? Dude, I don't know. I think that so far on Survivor, it's been a nice lesson for me to learn, like, not to judge people. Because, like, episode two, I honestly thought Tiffany was one of the worst human beings on planet Earth. I thought she, uh, like was just I like I, w I was ready to almost judge her as a human being and then like by like episode five I was like you know what she just seems like a kind of a nice lady she seems okay I have nothing wrong with her anymore um so I I don't have an answer uh who who do I want to see win I mean Xander he he's he seems like a like a fun guy he's playing the win uh I like Evie, like, I, I got no problem with Evie. Ditto Bitto. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions, by the way. Thank you. Um, I mean, I got no, like, problem with any of them. I, dude, Nasir, he's great. Or at least he's, he's seems fun so far. I, I kind of like, oh, no, 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 no. Like, the only people on the, on Survivor that, like, I'm not saying they're bad people at all, but the only people on Survivor so far that I'm like, when I'm watching, I'm like, oh, I'm kind of like over them are Ricard and Shan. Hello. Hello. Oh, hello. Can you go honk honk? Honk honk. Honk honk. Good girl. Can you go? Good girl. <laughs> Chad, I've got an idea. <laughs> you have to have an item that turns you into a chicken? I don't, I don't know if this run is going to do it, though. Like, I... <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Um, that is new tech. <laughs> well, I threw my other item. I don't know what happened, but... I don't know. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, man. See you soon, honey. Bye bye. It's down here. This can't. This is how I die. You're just sending me to my death. <laughs> Whoa, that's different. Now it sounds like an incredibly generic indie game from like 2012. 
It's worm. Worm platformer. You play as a worm. The worm is too small to crawl until you eat things. Worm Crawler got a 9 out of 10 from every major website because it's the third indie game ever made. No. Worm, 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 worm. Get out of here. I've never seen Ladybird. I just make fun of it for no reason. <laughs> he was in Interstellar. What, he was like nine? It's like asking me how I feel about the kids' performances in Mrs. Doubtfire or something. We're all there for Robin Williams, man. No! He was in Hostiles? I don't know this movie. I don't know this movie, I'll admit. I gotta say, did anybody else... This is like spoilers for an Isaac episode that's coming out soon. But did anybody else do... Um, did, did they see the trailer for the Jake Gyllenhaal movie um, Ambulance in front of uh, Dune? I have never in my life before seen a trailer that tells the entire plot of the movie in chronological order. Like it starts and it's like a heat inspired like bank robbery where they're like one more job. Then they're robbing the bank, then the robbery goes wrong, then they escape and they're like, what's it supposed to go down like this? And then they like hijack an ambulance and then in the ambulance they're like, we have to go to the hospital, we got a, a dying cop in here. And then they're like, "You know, I tell you what to do, I make the rules now. And then they're like, does anybody here have medical training? And one of the bank robbers goes, I'm an ex-combat medic from Operation Iraqi Freedom. And then like the ambulance gets like knocked off the road and the back door opens and Jake Gyllenhaal pops out and is starting to like shoot dead people and stuff like that and you're like that's i feel like you've shown me the whole movie 
At least, like, the first 40 minutes of the movie, I now, like, know what's gonna happen. Because, not not from even inferring, which is how you normally do it, but just because, okay, I guess I'll just die then. It's just, like... I'm just surprised at, like, how... how much of the movie it seemed to show. That's like every trailer nowadays? No, the Marvel trailers are still like, we're putting a team together. And then like, you know, Kumail Nanjiani comes out and says like, Oh, what, did you miss me? I was flossing. And then he shoots like a laser beam out of his fist. And then it goes, you know, we've never seen anything like this before. The only way we can defeat something is together, you know? like. I, st I, I still haven't seen Eternals. I st I'm, maybe I'll see Shang-Chi tonight, right? Like it came out on Disney Plus today or something? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you, like, by the way, so I basically like played hooky yesterday. I'll just own it, man. We, we had a dream scenario where our daycare provider stayed open on Remembrance Day. So my wife and I realized, holy crap, for the first time in forever, little Frozen reference for you, Disney fans. We can actually have, like, an afternoon, like, without the... Oh! Blessed. Like, an afternoon without the baby? No. You would... The chicken? So we got, uh... We got some sushi at 11 a.m. when the restaurant opened, like, psychos. And then I was like, do you want to see a movie? And she was like, yeah. I said, do you want to see Eternals? And she says, no, let's see a good movie. I said, what about Dune? She said, all right. Guess she liked it. Came home today. She, she had bought three Dune books already. So, okay, we got to figure out. Oh, you know what? That's the path right there, I bet. Okay, we can't make it up there. Over here, though? I still... I'm not t fully convinced this is the right way. But we're doing something. <clears throat> What's your breakfast sushi of choice? Th throw here. Look, it's not breakfast sushi. We just got... You piece. Throw here. Throw here. So I don't know if there's any, like, Vancouver or Lower Mainland. I mean, there's probably some. I don't know if there's many of them in chat. But, like, there's this place that opened up in the West End called Hello Nori. That I, I don't even, like, it's good enough that I don't want to tell people about it because it's going to blow up our spot. And I very much enjoy, you know, being able to get, like, a, a table, right? Even though it is pretty busy already. And the thing with Hello Nori is that it's... Uh, it's a weird, like, sushi bar only type restaurant. Like, there's no tables. You just sit at the bar. You order, you know, uh, from a, a checklist. And then they serve you, like, they make it in front of you. Like, almost, uh, what's the word? You know, like, fancy Japanese style. Not omakase, but like, waishoku or whatever. And then, they, they make it right there. Serve it to you right in front of you. Seaweed's nice and crispy. Very fresh. And uh, I, I'd say, like, it's not the best sushi in Vancouver, but it occupies a very nice um, area in, like, the mid-tier. Like, there's a lot of decent, cheap sushi in Vancouver, and there's a lot of great, very expensive sushi. This is, like, mid-priced, good-quality sushi. And the thing that I love the most about it, man, oh, my God... You go into the restaurant, like, we sat down at 11. We were out of the restaurant by... 11.35. And, uh... It, it's a dream. It's a dream. I, I love a restaurant with good food where you get, like, turned over quickly. It's not the kind of place where you're gonna stay for a long time, but I love... Especially with a baby, man. What's mid-price for sushi? I mean, their, their four-roll combo is, like, 20... I mean, the, the rolls are fairly small. Like, four or five rolls is, is usually what I get. It's, like, 22 to $26 per person. 
You can buy some more expensive stuff if you if you're interested, but it's it's that's Canadian as well. It's not crazy, like it's it's not insanely expensive. But there's definitely places in Vancouver where for like, you know, 12 to 15 bucks a person, you could get like some cheap decent sushi, so it's like Reg me! It's one level up from that. <clears throat> I'm paying 14 bucks a roll. Hey, but you might be... Um, th these are rolls that are literally like seaweed, rice, um, and whatever fish you got. Some of them are like, you know, they got a little sauce mixed up, but it is definitely not like rainbow dragon roll that's like 30 pieces and it's got like 12 tempura shrimp sticking out of it. Like... Yeah, no, they, these are roll. These are like... I would say they're hand rolls you eat in like, you know, two or three... Well, probably three or four bites. Can I also say though they do use real wasabi, which is uh, that it's it's a selling point. I'll I'll eat some green horseradish, doesn't bother me. But the real wasabi just tastes a little different, for sure. So I I'm a big believer in Hello Nori. Every time I go, and I've gone like I don't know like four times now. Every time I go, I'm like, man, this place is gonna if they franchise this because I know they're opening up like a few locations. This place is gonna freaking pop, man. It's gonna... Very bullish on the chances of Hello Nori, at least in, in BC. Anyway, so that's... <laughs> that's all I got. I did see someone say NL. Have you been to Sushi Den near the stadium? I have. I think Sushi Den's okay. I'm a little... I'm, I, would, I wouldn't say I'm a sushi snob. I, of the sushi restaurants that are right next to the stadium, which is very funny, I guess, that we live in a city where there's, like, enough to say that. Um, I prefer Suki, which is, I think, like, uh, it's, like, three doors down. Suki's, Suki's pretty good. Sushi Den, I don't mind in a pinch, but I do, they use regular, like, rice cooker rice instead of sushi rice, and it's just, like... I'm just, I am just, like, I'm I'm not trying to be a snob, but I'm just saying, it, it does make a difference. What am I doing, man? And then someone said, best in Vancouver is Raisu. Have you ever been to Raisu? Dude, I mean, you're, this is, like, very, very much up my alley right now. I love all of the restaurants that that group has. Raisu is the tonkatsu one in Kitsilano, right? I have been to Raisu. I like it a lot. Vancouver's having like a tonkatsu uh, boon right now. Or it's not tonkatsu, but donkatsu. But like Raisu's really good. I know people go crazy for Saku. I can't really like... I I like it, but I my stomach feels really bad after I eat Saku. Like, I think it's just super oily, and like, you know, other people can handle it, but I've done enough damage to my GI tract, I guess, that I'm like... I'm kind of... I, I can't handle it as well anymore. But, but Saku's pretty sick. I, I enjoy Saku. I, I'm realizing now I've been to a lot of restaurants in Vancouver. <laughs> I guess I have, uh, I've lived here for a while, you know, in like t almost 10 years at this point. Have you been to Tendon Kohaku? I have been to Tendon Kohaku. That was the restaurant I went to where, uh, I, I laughed because like they, they served, uh, like Japanese Tendon, which was delicious. Um, but they also play country music, like American new country music in the background, which is so funny. But it was really good. I love Vancouver posts. I love when we can get some Vancouver focused banter here. Ooh. There are some people have said some places I haven't been. Like Maru Lilu, I haven't been there. I, I've, I've never even heard of it, honestly. I was sad to see in the same neighborhood, apparently, though. I was sad to see that uh, Moy Cafe, the like the waffle and coffee cafe, went away. That had been around like since I moved here. I, I enjoyed that place.
Okay, try again, try again. We lived. At least we lived. Can we just get up? Like, this would be so helpful if we could just... Gee. Hello, Jay, by the way. Hello. Dude, I, lo I love I love Vancouver posting. Mo I saw that Moy Cafe just moved. That's That's great intel. Oh god, it's fog. It's it's a uh, fruit shoot. That's not possible. Why is it his buy on the bottom? You think we can just take the lower side? There's come on. There's how are you supposed to dodge that? <laughs>
ourselves down here. Ooh. Okay. Oh, and then we got to jump across the pretzel rods. Oops. I, when I when I first moved to Vancouver, I um, went to Fresh Slice like on on Tuesdays they had like two dollars a slice. I would just go buy like five slices, man, because that's a a cheap lunch in Vancouver. I mean, five slices was a little bit more than a lunch, but. But the, something about, like, French Slice, it always tastes like they didn't actually cook the pizza. Like, it, it tastes like the they, they had, like, a no-bake dough recipe. Where they just let the dough sit and it, like, cooked itself. But they, it, it never touched an oven at any point. I also don't understand the concept of, like, they're, they've advocated themselves as... Like, we're healthy pizza, but, like, I don't understand how at all. Like... Like, it, it's just one of those things, it's like Subway. I think they tried to make themselves, like, the Subway of pizza, but then Subway is now, like... You know, their marketing's not working either. But I'm a, I'm a, I'm a pizza garden guy. I have heard that La Ruota for slices is kind of okay, too. I'll get an Uncle Fatih's slice in a pinch. I don't mind the sesame seeds. Come on! Okay, we gotta get out of here. Bossa Nova? Me at your mom's house? He's <laughs> zooming, man! Holy crap. Yo, these are some great items. Alright, squandered, squandered. 
Sonic the Hedgehog, Donkey Kong 3. Is this Pirates of the Caribbean music? <laughs> mm. Could be DMCA, you never know. Anyway, that's my thoughts on Vancouver restaurants. <laughs> I saw someone ask, is Miku just overpriced? I Miku's expensive, but I think it's, it's mighty good. For a special occasion, both both Miku and uh, Minami, which is in Yale Town, are, are pretty good, man. I know, Hatsune Miku, yes. I think she named herself after the restaurant because she liked it so much. J is Jinya overpriced? I'm with you, brother. Look, have I been to Jinya, quote, what is it called? Ramen bar? Gyoza bar? Jinya Gyoza bar? As far as, um, it's, it's crazy that at least like pre-pandemic, it was always so busy. That is also, that, that Jinya that's on like Robson Street, Caden and I went there one time. Um, and there's like a, a bathroom right outside, like a public bathroom on the street. I swear to God, I saw someone walk into that bathroom when we were waiting 90 minutes for a table for some reason. Um, I saw someone walk in. Nobody walked out for half an hour. And then another person walked in. And then like two minutes later, that person walked out. Like, I, I, it was like a magic trick. Like, I don't know if somebody died or, or what happened. The, but those public bathrooms are like... I, I, you, this is very, very Vancouver posting. One time I so urgently had to go to the bathroom that I used the public bathroom stall outside Pacific Central Station, which is pretty much like, it's very close to the downtown east side. And I knew that this was going to be one of the worst bathroom experiences of my life. And, uh, it, you know, there was nobody else in the stall, which was nice. But when I was in there, I was definitely like, get me out of here as soon as possible. Same late. I don't know if anyone here, I mean, we're going very deep into the, into the Vancouver posting. I played Magic a couple of times at this really good board game store that's inside of International Village Mall. Uh, and they didn't have a bathroom in the store. Instead, you use the bathroom at the mall. The bathroom at the International Village Mall would not recommend, if possible. Just like... The, do, uh, the convention center bathroom in Seattle is also insanely bad. The, that's the... I've, I've never seen it before or since, but the, it's the one that has, like, a, an observation window cut out of the stalls. Um, where, like... I think they do it so you can't go into the stall and shoot drugs, or at least like pass out after you shoot drugs. But it kind of sucks when you're just like going to the bathroom and then you're like, <laughs> there's like a window where people can just see your your you know what while you're while you're going. Anyway, this uh. You know, public bathroom situation, not not exactly ideal, but you make do. Country girls make do. Okay, let's see. This that's lightning bolt. That's really good. Dude, I'm gonna uh, you have to try. You have to try, okay? So like knowing where we're going in the future, honestly, step one. I didn't know I was about to become a chicken. I thought I was about to shoot a shield. But this is a lightning bolt, right? I thought I was a genius for a second there, but okay. But dude, oh, when we were talking about Raisu, 
Again, I, I like I could you could not make a less accessible bit of commentary than this for like somebody who's not. I mean, Vancouver is a big city. We probably got a decent amount of like Vancouver viewers, but like still, oh, at, at least we got the save. Raisu is pretty sick. Um, I like Suika. Suika's pretty good. Suika these balls, of course. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I'm trying to think of what else they got. Their their food truck, they don't make the kind of sushi I'm that into, but I respect it. But um, their Osaka Kushikatsu restaurant in Kitsilano. Oh, uh, Raggio. That's like an actual hidden gem that's still hidden. I, I can't believe, you know, not everybody's talking about Raggio constantly. That place is, that place is a vibe. 